A fantastic use for Citadel contrast paints is glazing your miniatures, and true metallic metal is the perfect surface for introducing some colour. The reason contrast paint is so good for glazing is because it already comes at a good consistency, and this goes for speed paints too, or any variation of this style of paint, I just happen to have GW. The formulation itself of this style of paint holds the pigments better than say, thinning down regular paint with medium in my opinion, so again, very handy for this kind of stuff. Now of course you can glaze any metallic, but I think your general silver gives a nice neutral base to really let the colour shine. I like to go a bit brighter than I generally do with this silver, and also even add some edge highlights because this will all get dulled down a bit by the glaze. So you want it nice and bright. Let's start with my favourite colour green, and as I mentioned contrast paint is a good consistency, but I still always like to thin it with some medium when I'm glazing, just to make it a bit more transparent because you don't want to go overboard with a glaze. It's better to do multiple thin layers and build up that colour. You don't have to use a Lamian medium, but you want some kind of medium over water because you don't want this to become too much of a wash. I could see this kind of glaze working with a green knight style miniature, or maybe a poison blade. It's a lovely green though. For the red I'm going darker with some flesh terrors, and this is also a very saturated colour, which is why it's always important to test these glazes first, and work out how much medium you need to add to keep it nice and translucent. Another reason why I'm going for a darker and less thin red is so the overall colour doesn't go too pink, which can happen with some of the lighter ones, and keeps that nice rich red. Even though I've added the same amount of medium as the green, this red is much more pigment dense, so that's another thing to always keep in mind, they're all different. Blue works particularly well for this I think, it just works so nicely with that silver and steel look. And for all these examples, I'm putting on a couple of coats of glaze so it shows up better on the camera, but you could definitely go more subtle with all these glazes and introduce more medium and light coats so it's just a tinge to the colour. A good glaze should be almost invisible when you're putting it on, and then after a layer or two you start to see that colour coming through, uh, and you want to do that so that the, the layers below and the paint below can shine through as well. I also really like yellow as a glaze for metal, it might have more applications for more sci-fi minis than fantasy. I don't know, the whole time I was painting this uh, I just kept thinking of Borderlands, not sure why. But uh, it can also be used to create a gold effect on your metal, particularly if you use a yellow with some more orange in it. But I like this Eandon yellow, it definitely has its uses, and uh, it's another good colour for breaking up large parts of metal. Now I did show this Magos purple glaze in my original True Metallic Metal video, but um, I couldn't help showing it again because it's dead set one of my favourite colours to glaze on metal, and I like this one real thin, so it just gives that kind of purple shine to the metal. I'm definitely going to use this on some slanish minis I have coming up, but overall just a fantastic colour for glazing armour and other kinds of metal. You don't always have to be adding colour with glazes, you can also create some nice separation and visual interest on silver pieces with a dark colour like Black Templar. Interestingly enough, you'd think this would be a pure black, but it's actually got a nice blue tinge to it, which can work well with the metal. I've used very minimal medium with this one because I want the glaze to keep its strong tone, and if you put too much medium with something like this, you're just not going to really see the difference when you put it on between the silver and where you've glazed, so you want to keep something like this a little bit stronger. But like all the glazes, you know, always test it first to make sure you've got the right translucent consistency, and never be afraid to do multiple layers to get that colour. So there you have it, a simple but effective way to use contrast paints to jazz up your metals in the form of glazes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Hobby Grotto.